Hey guys, welcome. John G here. We're off on another epic adventure around the world doing things that matter with people that matter. I'm joining the Artist of the Year, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, Ed the Pond Professor, a whole slew of awesome artists are all cruising out to LA to build a water feature for actress, comedian, Laura Cleary and her husband, Steven. Their reaction was unbelievable. They were totally blown away. During this journey, I get to sneak off to meet Jay over at Prehistoric Pets with Greg and a few friends. It was just an awesome trip. At the end, we are going to Mazatlan, Mexico to catch largemouth bass. Yours truly catches the largest fish. Now, nah, maybe, maybe not. You stay tuned and see. I had an awesome time. Stay tuned, two part video, part one today part two tomorrow. It's all coming out. Hold on to your hats. I had a blast. Hope you enjoy the video. I am out. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. back hill area right there. We're gonna transform this ordinary slope into an incredible waterfall. Beautiful boulders. Chad has picked out some salt and pepper granite for us. We got some monster stones that are coming in here, which is exactly what we need to stabilize this entire feature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start out right where I'm standing. This is gonna be a thousand gallon underground reservoir. From here, the water's gonna get pumped up behind me up that slope. It's gonna start off in two waterfalls. It's gonna be a lower one on one side and a higher one on the other. Those waterfalls are gonna converge into a common pooling area. The reason we're trying to do that is to create an interactive splash zone for the young kids. Waterfall's coming in from this side. This waterfall coming in out of that side. Water the stream's gonna run down into here. Reservoir down below. We got double pumps, lots of lights. You're gonna be looking down from this angle. You're gonna be looking down from this angle. We should do something. Yeah, no, we, we have been. Guys, here's something you don't see very often on our projects because we don't often need it. Concrete cloth. They got these, uh, I don't know what they are. They're not gophers, but there's something drilling holes in the ground everywhere out there. This is, is basically like a fabric impregnated with cement. And when you put that stuff on the ground and get it wet, it turns into a layer of concrete. It keeps all those small burrowing animals from drilling holes right through our liner. How about this? Look at these beautiful boulders we got in here. We got trucks running. Lovely granite rounds. Salt and pepper granite. Somebody gonna make a waterfall out of that rock. I bet you. I bet you, bet you. It's too easy. Well, there's about uh, 20 people too many on this build. Yeah, there is. And there's two cameras for every person. I think we should go. We met a really cool dude this morning. Yep. I did, first time. Yep. Jay, yep. prehistoric Brewer. pets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's what got a place think? about an hour down the road. Let's ditch this joint and go see here. him. All right. <laughs> Let's do that. We're leaving, man. I just came to say goodbye. We're, doing We're what? gonna go see Jay. We're do <laughs> yeah. You're doing we, what? <laughs> we had a discussion and we decided that there's way too wait, many of us here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Was, this, was I included in the discussion? Well, we we is a very relative okay. term. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have fun. Hopefully, all right. it's all finished by the time you get back, but I'm guessing it won't be. I'll second that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also hope that it's finished when I get back. <laughs> you guys are leaving. Right, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just figured I'd get my goodbye yeah. shots. Maybe get a smoothie or something. I know. You're going to CJ. Yeah. You yeah. want a smoothie? Okay. Would you like a smoothie or a coffee, maybe? <laughs> this evening, something. You're probably with... going to hit a massage as well. Yeah. You know, I, I know that. That is a fabulous idea. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah.
Paku down here. I like turtles. <laughs> We're gonna name these, and they're absolutely incredible. Wow. Look at, I mean, talking about a prehistoric animal. I'm trying to get it to open its mouth. It's an incredible creature. That being said, come on. <laughs> come on, desensitize yourself, relax, everybody's good. She's like, no, I'm not happy today. I have no idea why she's not happy. So we got in here, we're losing water in this thing. What's been happening is, He's been having heartache over losing water in this feature, and we got in here and started digging into it, and everybody's just tearing out rocks and putting rocks back and moving around foam, and we discovered a lungfish down inside the skimmer box that hadn't been seen for months, which he was quite happy about. The missing lungfish is found! That is so, oh, I'm telling you, that, I can't tell you how cool that is. Yeah, so we didn't make it back over to Lower Clary's. We ended up coming in here and piddling around and trying to get this thing all decked out so that he could turn his waterfall on in the back of the shop again and getting it sounding lovely, creating the ambiance that it was intended for. So that's what we've been up to. He said no. Oh my gosh, it's huge. There you go, there you go. Wow. There you go, pick it up, pick it up. Whoa. Whoa. Out of tortoises. Oh, beautiful. He looks like the little guys from Jurassic Park, actually. Well, who would have thought it, man? We've been out here. We just swung in for a few minutes to Jay's prehistoric pets, and we were going to hang out and check out all his creatures, and we got to see. Greg hold the massive alligator snapping turtle. He tried to get bit by a caiman. I'm just saying. And then we found a pond in here that needed a little TLC. And three hours later, we've had lunch, torn apart a waterfall inside the building. Had a great time. That's what pond guys do. We just travel around doing cool things that matter with people that matter. I'm gonna have to get back over to the Clary building. I might even do something over there and share a part of what I told you guys you were gonna get to watch with you before the video was completely over and I didn't do what I said I was gonna do.
Hey crew, John G. It's day two out here at the Lower Clary build. Obviously, I didn't have a lot to do yesterday, but I'm here today and I'm trying to find my place on this project. I'm gonna flip you around real quick. You can see how many people and how many cameras are out here on this job site. So what happens is, is you got all these YouTubers out here, artists of the year, Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, Ed the pond professor, on and on we go, California waterscapes. There are so many companies represented that do their marketing by shooting videos and putting them out on YouTube and social media. And there's look, and count how many cameras. There's a GoPro, there's a GoPro, there's a phone. I'm, I'm really having a hard time finding a part. The access here is super tight. So you've got Jack running the machine up here from Atlantis Water Gardens. He and Ed and Brian have been working tightly on setting the waterfall stones. You can only have so many people run the show and only one rock can come in at a time because the way the access is. So it's very systematic. All the rest of us are doing detail work, setting rock outcropping. Let me show you. I talk to clients a lot of times about rock outcropping when we're talking about pricing and how important it is, but how many extra tons of rock it adds. So this project they said is gonna have a total of 70 tons of boulders. When we talk about a tractor trailer load of rock outcropping, some of these boulders are three and 4,000 pounds. If a tractor trailer has 25 tons of capacity, you know, it's not that many rocks. So when we talk these numbers with you guys, you understand an extra tractor trailer load of outcropping sounds like an immense amount of rock. You start plunking them in the hillside, not that many stones, super important to the job. When the plants get in there, it makes it look like it's not stranded. How many times you've seen a waterfall cut into a hillside and it's got one or two rocks on either side of it? Gets that string of pearls look where it's just one line of rocks up and one down. When it's got all that outcropping, it looks like it belongs. It's part of a natural thing, super important to a project. Don't cut these corners, guys, it's important. It's important, did I say it's important? It is. Look how much rock outcropping goes. We have a lot of these steep edges like this in East Tennessee. And I mean, it's a 45 degree bank. They said it was 12 feet elevation change from the reservoir all the way up to the top where the waterfalls are gonna split and come in. We only have one more day to get this finished after today, but we're trucking right along. And as you can see, look how many people there are. Everybody's chomping at the bit for something else to do. We all wanna be a part, we all wanna help out. I've got an opportunity to work down here in the bottom. Down in here, in the reservoir, we have put in a bib liner. I've got videos about how we do bib liners, and I'll put a link to that. If you guys don't know what that is and you want to know, you can check that out. But what we've done is this whole entire area is a reservoir from up there past where Tim is, all the way in the back corner under the waterfall, the aqua blocks come all the way back, literally into a square behind the pump vault right here. And across this way, you got a big rectangle. There's 30 aqua blocks. We've got a thousand gallon reservoir under the ground in there. So what happens is, is you get these different sizes of stone going on in here. We're trying to create all these areas. So you got a curved edge on the patio right here. We've got it covered up to keep it out of the mud. But we're gonna have this bridge comes over from the house. There's gonna be a sweet little beach area for the kids to roll right down. That's all gonna be pea gravel. What happens is down here, we've got about a 20 square foot area right here where the water needs to be able to infiltrate. It can spill over. There's more area back here with small gravel, but that gets clogged up faster. This area will infiltrate, but it gets clogged up faster. This stone has been stacked in here. It's got bigger openings. That's where the water infiltrates. There's a fine balance. You can see how many trees we have up above us. That can cause a leaf problem in the fall, guys. When you have a pondless waterfall like this, water comes down, it all has to be able to run into that aggregate down at the bottom. If it's covered in leaves, the water shoots right across the top, goes over the edge. Not only does it empty your reservoir out, but it, it'll burn out your pump flat out, that's the truth. So that's what you gotta watch out for anyways. These are the kind of things I've been messing around with, the small detail work. You got people working on these rock outcroppings over here. Look how much stone. There's probably at least a third of the stone that's used in the project is gonna be used for the outcropping. That's what makes it look natural. Access has been tight. Like you can see up here, like I was talking about, Jack has cut down into here and created basically one access to get down in. Work your way out here, work your way out here, do this, work your way out to the top. Everything's very specific in the way it has to be led in logistics. You know, all the time I talk to people about the logistics of projects and how one project can be double the cost of the exact same project in another location. That's why 
all of the things that come into consideration in bidding a project, access is huge. I'm gonna go back down here and play around in the sandbox. All right, guys, how much fun was that? I know you hate when we do two-part videos, but we just got a bunch of content going over the Jay's Prehistoric Pets, and it was a blast. I hope you're enjoying the journey. Stay tuned, watch part two, it's coming out right away. We're not even gonna wait another week for this one. So enjoy the ride and come back and watch the bass fishing trip in Mazatlan at the end of this whole thing and check out Laura Cleary's reaction to the awesome water feature that we put together and her family. We were blown away. When you see somebody respond like that, it makes the whole journey worthwhile. Guys, thanks for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll see you guys again next week. John G out.